Gilbert is one of the most popular suburbs that we have here in Phoenix and today I want to show you one of the most popular parts of Gilbert which is downtown Gilbert. There's so much to do there with shopping, dining, entertainment, family friendly activities and I am going to show you all of it starting right now. Hey everyone, I'm Caitlin McCagg, a realtor here in Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for coming to my channel and checking out another neighborhood tour. And this week, as I said, we are talking about Gilbert. And I'm mainly focusing this week on showing you the awesome downtown area of Gilbert and just things that you should know about Gilbert in general. We're not going through any specific neighborhood in Gilbert, just like I said, giving you kind of an overview of the town of Gilbert. If you have not subscribed to my channel, you might want to do so. I post two new videos every week, either a neighborhood tour or a Phoenix market update, and you don't want to miss that information. And if you know someone who might love these videos, make sure you share with them. Okay, let's jump right in. Gilbert is a suburb of the Phoenix area. It's located in the Southeast Valley, as we call it. It borders Chandler and Mesa, as well as Queen Creek. It has a population of about 243,000 people, but as recently as the 80s, it had a population of only 6,000 people. Gilbert has a rich history in being farmland, and it was largely farmland before about the 80s, 90s, when we started developing it much further. Obviously, going from 6,000 residents in the 80s to 240,000 or so in 2021 is pretty significant growth. The median home price in all of Gilbert is about $475,000, which is higher than the median home price in all of Phoenix, which sits at about $360,000. You'll find a lot of neighborhoods that were built starting in the 90s, 2000s, and even as recently as a few years ago throughout Gilbert. Many are your typical Arizona neighborhoods that you see with homes that look similar throughout a subdivision, but there are also homes that still exist today that were there before we had a huge population in Gilbert. So you'll find some of these homes on really large lots that actually have horses grazing on them or donkeys because they are horse properties and are still zoned for that. It's a pretty cool mixture to see one neighborhood that is a more modern subdivision and then next door to a neighborhood that's clearly been there for years and has a lot of land available on each lot. According to niche.com, Gilbert has been rated as the number two best subdivision in the entire state of Arizona to live in. And I'll tell you, based on being a resident in the Phoenix area, that certainly rings true. Everyone who lives in Gilbert really loves it and it's a very desirable place to live. The crime rates are really low and the school districts are great. It's super family friendly. There's lots to do and one of the best parts about Gilbert, in my opinion, is the downtown Gilbert area. Downtown Gilbert is so cute. It can be called Downtown Gilbert, DTG, or the Heritage District. It's around the crossroads of Gilbert Road and Guadalupe, and it has developed so much in the last 10 years. It's full of a variety of different restaurant concepts. Some that are popular in Phoenix have started there, like Postino and The Porch, but it also has some of Gilbert's favorites, like Joe's Real Barbecue. If you watched my video on Agritopia, I went to Joe's Farm Grill and Joe's Real Barbecue is owned by the same family, the family that originally had their house in Agritopia. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Agritopia is an awesome neighborhood in Gilbert and I did a video walking you through that. When I went to downtown Gilbert, I had lunch at Liberty Market and it was so good. I chose Liberty Market because it has history in the town of Gilbert. The building is originally from the 1930s and it was a market or a little grocery store during that time owned by one family. It was the only grocery store in town for a really long time. 
today it's a restaurant serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner featuring wood-fired pizzas, salads, sandwiches, pasta, burgers, house-made desserts, a premium espresso bar, and a beer and wine list. It also has a super cute vibe both inside and out. Downtown Gilbert also has a huge farmer's market on the weekends, which I definitely encourage you to check out if you're there on a weekend. Here in downtown Gilbert, there's so much to do. So many fun shops, so many cool places to eat, dine, family-friendly stuff, and uh, it's got just a unique feel. It's very walkable, which is not too common in most places throughout the Phoenix area. And you can see there are so many options for whatever you wanna to do to spend a day here or a night here. Downtown Gilbert is also a place where you will find the nightlife. There are quite a few bars and kind of clubs in the area like Dirk Bentley Whiskey Row, Champions, and a few others you can check out if you're out for a night in Gilbert. If you've gotten your fill of food and drinks and need to go work those off somewhere, Gilbert is full of awesome parks, one of which is Freestone Park, which is huge. Freestone Park really has it all if you're looking for an awesome park in Gilbert. As you can see, there is a lake behind me. It is stocked with fish. There's been some ducks playing around in there since I've been here today, but also it has so much more here. So basketball courts, volleyball, sand volleyball. Um, there's also tennis courts, a playground, of course, a skate park. It's five acres, so it's huge and tons of green space, picnic spaces, that kind of thing. But also it has a little amusement park for kids and a little train ride that goes around the park. So if you're looking for something to do on a beautiful day in Gilbert, this is the park to be at. For the dogs, Cosmo Dog Park is not too far away. It's a 17 acre park and it features four different fenced areas for your dogs and also a lake for them to swim in. Gilbert School District is one of the top rated districts and Gilbert offers some of the top rated schools within our state. Gilbert High School and Gilbert Elementary are both top rated along with Mesquite High School, Hamilton High School, and Highland. There are a lot of great schooling options in Gilbert and that's one of the big driving factors of so many people moving to Gilbert because it is known for having the best school district in the Phoenix area and even the state. Like most areas of Phoenix, Gilbert is a place where you can do a lot of outdoor activities. There's actually a bike map on their website if you love to bike that shows different bike paths throughout the entire town of Gilbert. It also includes multi-use paths if you'd rather run or walk. So if you hadn't heard of Gilbert already, now you know a little bit more about this town. It really is a super popular place with a lot of people moving there and a lot of people who enjoy Gilbert for all the reasons that I mentioned. If you're looking to buy a house in Gilbert, check the description below. You can use my MLS link to search homes in the area that way. And if you're thinking about selling your home in Gilbert, click below for your instant home valuation to find out what you could get if you sold your home. Before I go, I have to mention the dog of the week. This week, I'm talking about Izzy, who's located at the Arizona Small Dog Rescue. She is a two-year-old Italian Greyhound mix, and she's about 15 pounds. When she was brought into the shelter, she was pregnant and ended up having 10 puppies. All 10 have been adopted and now she is looking for her forever home. If you think Izzy might be a good match for you, look in my description below. I have a link to her bio and information and you can connect with Arizona Small Dog Rescue about adopting her or share her profile with someone that you think might be interested in adopting her. One thing I do wanna mention about Arizona Small Dog Rescue is they did make mentioned this week that they are full at their shelter and are really in desperate need of fosters. So if you've considered fostering a dog, that would be a great place to reach out to to potentially help them out. 
Well, that's a wrap on Gilbert. I hope this information was helpful if you were considering moving to Gilbert or have any questions about what it's like living in Gilbert. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching this video. I'll be back next week with some more market updates for you. Have a great weekend.